When I talk about editing cells, columns, and rows, in this video I want to show you how you can insert, shift, and delete cells, columns, and rows. First of all, let's go over columns. If I want to be able to insert a new column here because I have some text or data that I want to enter in here, but I don't want to overwrite and delete what's already there, I just want to push it over. So when I push it over, I'd also like column B to push over to C and so on. And then just go ahead and right click on the column header, letter A. When you right click on it, go down the shortcut menu to insert, and it pushes A over to B and B over to C and so on. You can also do multiple insertions at the same time by selecting multiple columns by let's do A, click and drag from A over to C, and then right click on any one of those highlighted column headers and go down to insert, and when I insert, it'll insert as many as I have highlighted. Click on it, and we got three, three plus one. Okay, by the same token to go ahead and get rid of those three columns, you can right click on any one of those highlighted column headers. When you right click, go down to delete, and then we're just down to one. You could do it that way, or instead of you know right clicking and being able to select the entire column to delete it, if you're anywhere within the column, you can come up here on the Home tab, go over to the Cells group, and you've got Delete there as well. Click on it. You can delete cells, which we'll go over in just a minute. You can delete rows, which we'll go over in just a minute. You can delete columns, which we'll do right now. But before that, you can also delete the sheet, which we'll cover in a later training video. So delete the column, the column that I have a cell highlighted therein, click on it, and we're back to where we started. So you can come up here and insert as well as, let me click off, delete your columns and rows, cells and sheets. So speaking of rows, we can come over here and click and drag to select a couple of rows to right click that selection to insert a couple of new blank rows. And you can also right click and delete as well. And then what about if you want to be able to switch your rows and columns around? So for example, let's say I got the numbers and the months mixed up. Like this says March and that says April and I need to flip them. I don't want to delete that one and then retype it here. Well, to go ahead and switch a row, just right click on column F, the header there that is, and go down to cut and get the marching ants. It's in active mode. It's on the cutting board, the clipboard and go ahead and right click on the column that you want to insert what you have cut and it's going to be column E. So when I right click on it, it's not going to delete that, it's going to insert it and what it does when it inserts it, it places it in between and just shifts everything over. So what's in here, oh, there we go. Let me go ahead and click on insert cut cells and you can see it just swaps. So now April's there, but we were pretending that we got it wrong and that was March and so now it's updated in any case. That's how you can go ahead and swap them around, is cut and insert those cuts. You can also do it for your rows. You know, select the rows, right-click on the selection, and then go ahead and cut, and then right-click somewhere else to insert the cut rows. Let me go ahead and click off, and let me undo that, because that just doesn't look right. And I got the marching ants. It's in cut mode. When I go ahead and hit the escape key to get that cleared, and then click off. And then finally, about cells. Well, let's say that instead of inserting an entire column here and shifting H over to I, if I just want to shift over a particular range to a new column and not the entire column over, so the 8% stays in column H, you can go ahead and select the cells that, in this example, are before the total, that when I right-click on that selection and I insert, I get a pop-up that says, let me click and drag the title bar over here, that says you can shift the cells to the right, so it'll take this and shift it over to the right, and what's in this range here over to the right of what's highlighted, it will shift over to I and then I to J and so on. So that way if you just want to do a little update that doesn't include an entirely new column, but just a range of cells within that column, that when you shift it over, well, everything to the right of that and those adjacent columns will get shifted over as well. Or you can go ahead and shift them down, so if you have data below here, that you want to push down without actually inserting entirely new rows. So that way it doesn't interrupt the data over to the left hand side here, then go ahead and shift them down. Of course you can also insert entirely new rows and new columns here, and that's another way of doing it. There's more than one way to do these things, so let's just go ahead and shift it over to the right, click okie dokie, and it gets pushed over, and so now 8% is still an H, but everything that was to the right of what I had selected here when I inserted got shifted over. And vice versa. If I want to be able to say, ooh, I got to close up that gap, that looks horrifying. And I don't want to delete the empty column G because then commission 8% would be you know, 
looks like right smack next to it. And I don't want to do that. I want an extra space. So I just want to update a portion of the column here to be able to bring the data over. Then go ahead and select your range. Oh, let me make sure I select it correctly. So I include the label as well. That row all the way down here. Go ahead and right click. Go to delete. And you can see where it says instead of inserting to the right or down, now when it comes to deleting, it's going to pull in to the left and up. You see the pattern there? So when it comes to inserting, it shifts over and down. Deleting will shift it or bring it up and to the left. You choose which way you want to go. So if I go up, it pulls everything down below up, but I want to pull everything over here to the left. So I'll click OK and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.